All right guys, so today we're gonna be learning front side tail slide. So this is a trick that I've wanted to have on lock for a while. I did one to regular and one to fakie one day. It just made sense to me and then since then, uh, yeah, I just lost it. It seems like it goes like that. There's a lot of tricks that I feel like kind of just like click for a day and then they go away. So today we're gonna be using John Hill's tutorial to break this down. He has a video called How to Te Hold Tail Slides Forever. And in that video, he gives a really simple process for how to really get tail slides to the point that you can really sit on them. And so today we're gonna basically go through that process and figure out um, exactly, sorry, there's a, a cop right here and I'm filming and I don't know if he cares. So far, no. I'm just gonna tuck this down here because I do not want to get pulled over. So yeah, John Hill is gonna teach us front side tail slides and hopefully it's gonna work out. So if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe and like, that way YouTube will recommend more of these videos to you. I post videos like six times a week typically. And a lot of times, most of you people are not seeing all of my videos, so if you do want to see each one of them, definitely turn on the notifications. You can follow me on Instagram at the local Joe. And remember to make every day a Friday. Everything that I skate is gonna be linked down in the description below. Let's get into how we're actually gonna break down this trick. So the first thing you obviously need is a good ollie and a good front 180. But then from there, what John Hill recommends to do is pretty much just learn how to stall the trick on the ledge that you're trying it on. So he says to start perpendicular to the ledge, basically riding directly at it. And then as you get more comfortable, you add a little bit of an angle. So he says that you should be able to ollie and then tail stall and just sit on it. So not like get in and fall out, but like get in and just stand there on your tail stall. And once you can do that, then you add more angle and do the same thing, tail stall and just sit on it. And then as you just add more angle, it will start to slide. And then once you're feeling like comfortable, you just add a little bit of extra speed and then it should be able to slide. So one key that he does mention is you want to pinch your tail slide on your heel side wheel. So if your toe side wheel catches the ledge, you're going to stick. And so it's really important that as you're doing it, as you're doing the practice steps, doing those stalls, that you're trying to get in touching that heel side wheel. And I feel like if we can get those stalls and lock in on that heel side wheel, I, I think we've got a really good chance at landing this trick. So I'm gonna put my camera away so I don't get pulled over, but I will see you guys at the skate park. We'll get a warm up and then we'll get into this trick.
well. That session was a struggle. I'm glad I went through the struggle. I feel like in the future I'll be able to get tail slides a lot better, but I just wasn't able to get in and slide as well as I wanted to. At the end, I felt like I was starting to get the hang of it, but I was just so gassed from skating for so long. Trying the same thing over and over definitely takes a toll, but the main thing that I learned is just with John Hill's practice steps to really take your time, and he mentions that in his video. The longer you take with each step, the easier the next step is going to be. So the first step is just coming at the ledge parallel, or sorry, perpendicular, and once you can get into that and really sit on a tail stall going perpendicular, then to start going at an angle. And I was running out of time, so I kind of cut corners, and I think that's what ultimately was making it so hard was I didn't have the fundamentals for actually getting on the ledge. I was kind of trying to throw myself into it all at once, which was really challenging. I'm still stoked that I got kind of a couple where I like got on there and like squeaked maybe for like an inch and then got out. Not my favorite, not something I feel super proud of, but you got to start somewhere, I guess. So one thing that was super trippy was when I got to the skate park, this guy came up to me and was like, yo, I recognize you. You do YouTube videos. He's like, I loved your video about tray flips. And I was like blown away that some random stranger knew who I was. That was so trippy. And then yesterday, Steve Barrett commented on one of my YouTube videos and I was like in shock for like two hours. I know when I meet like a one of these people, like a pro or something, I'm gonna lose it. Cause I'm literally, like you don't understand, I'm literally nobody. The fact that like people recognize me is, or that even just one person recognized me is like mind blowing. So I guess it really just goes to show how much you guys are supporting the channel and helping it to grow. So thank you so much. I hope that you do enjoy these videos and get something out of it, even though I didn't get the best tail slide today. I guess my next move from here is just to really practice on that stall and just really work on getting tail stalls. For ledge tricks, I found that's really the key is if you can stall the trick, you'll be able to do the trick. If you can't stall the trick, it's going to be a huge process trying to figure it out. So that's really the next step with tail slides is I'm going to make another video about this, some other something. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to start slower and really work on getting the tail stalls and just focus on on getting those down so that way I can incorporate that into a tail slide because I was getting on the ledge but I wasn't able to get my weight into the position to actually slide the tail slide and that's what was so frustrating was I felt like I was getting my board there but then the weight was still even and you've got to get all the weight on the foot that's sliding the trick and so it was really just shifting the weight onto that back foot that was really giving me problems so hopefully we can get it next time shout out to Chris for skating with me and bringing the vibes is really good session and uh yeah thanks for watching make every day a friday and i'll catch you in the next video peace